And this is uh, about 6.30 in the morning here in Tonga, Vava'u, on uh, in the suburb of Mountain Talao. We're watching a couple swirly patterns here in the waves as the uh, tsunami uh, rocks back and forth. In the right hand part of the screen you'll see the, uh, the um, low areas which are normally exposed only at low tide and, and not quite that well exposed. But uh, well, had a tsunami and uh, we get a little bit more. You can probably see the buoy. I'll try to get get a focus shot on that. And we'll see water streaking away from it as the tsunami recedes from the bay. Uh, according to the internet, this is only a, uh, about a foot and a couple of inches tall. They might focus it and give it a little bit more height, but probably not that much. I'd hope to get a nice image of the sun, uh, sunrise on the bay, but uh, I thought it only proper to call mom and let her know that uh, I'm not going to get swept out to sea or anything. Didn't get her, but this phone message should be fun. Yeah, let's go back to the entire bay. There we go. There's still a couple nice colors. And you can see some swirly patterns. Maybe the Grand Tour. And I'm really sorry to hear that pan got slammed, but, um, Tonga has a, a fantastic habit of always being wonderful, kind, kind and peaceful. All right. I bid everyone a, a good day, and again, my sympathies to those in Japan who are not enjoying what is for me, just a, a curiosity and an interesting little geological, hydrodynamical uh, anomaly. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Yeah. Yeah, there should be no way you're capable of understanding there's a tsunami. It's just too far away, but if I didn't know better, you are acting off funny. And let's sling back to that little tidal flat, which is now totally covered in water. Well... It's supposed to only be a couple of uh, 12 to 16 inches, but uh, I'd say we're looking more at um, probably about 3, maybe 4 feet. It's coming in fairly fast. We're out in the open ocean. might even be surfable if you had the right beach. Yeah, I would say it, well, maybe it's just this bay funneling it in, but uh, I'd say we're looking at about six feet worth. That's about two meters. Let's get another picture of that buoy. Where'd the buoy go? <laughs> I think we may have buried the buoy. Okay. Huh. Well, there's another buoy over here, which is taking quite the, uh, 
getting good wave crest around it. The other buoy appears to be swamped. Quick note for anyone at USGS getting a uh, a map time frame uh, that's functional for anyone in the Pacific it is very difficult on your site. Please upgrade it. Uh, literally spent 20 minutes on the computer trying to figure out when, where, and how big. That's uh, that's not a good thing. Yeah. There's a second buoy out there, but it's underwater. It has to be more in the range of seven, eight feet if it's gonna sweep it under. Or good and fast, maybe just dragged it. That is acting really funny. Well, even the lowest parts of uh, Tonga are liable just getting a show rather than anything dangerous. Okay, back to the tidal flats. It's very neat. One of the closest houses to the water is right over there. And you can see it's not in the house, it's just next to it. And there's my phone screaming, pay attention to me, so I've got to answer that. I had a little bit more, but... You know what I ought to do, now that I think of it, is uh, minimize the Skype screen here because I don't need it. I'm going to launch a browser and see if I can look at some real time footage. It's very. Uh, if we can find a webcam or the Got a whirlpool out here. Um, and. News, uh, we've got the same buoy just about underwater. And. Um, uh, this is just the outgoing tide we're looking at. Some turbulence from the incoming to the outgoing tide. It's very hard to... I'm still here, but I'm out on the deck videotaping this. And there's the tide of flats coming up. You can see them draining right now. Hey Dennis, if you get a chance, go to uh, Wikipedia, type in Japan and Tsunami, and I'll have a map showing the uh, direction, time. It's it's a pretty good map.
Japan tsunami. Yeah, this is a real fast one. The last one we saw was fairly slow. But uh, this is actually dragging buoys underwater. Well, I've just about got the video, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll walk you through it. And failing that, I'll just send you an email link to it. Okay. But this is, uh, yeah, we've got a small whirlpool out here. The, um, the speed is much higher than the uh, one um, about a year ago. Here's the tidal flat. You can see that everything is completely submerged. We'll be keeping an eye on it as the tidal flight reappears and disappears. And over here, we're noticing that the color of the water is starting to turn brown as uh, it picks up debris and uh, other mud. And we'll swing over here to the buoy. And the buoy's got some good waves forming around it. And once again, back to the the house. The house is nice, high and dry.